At 80 kilometers long and 16 kilometers wide, Petermann Glacier is the largest floating glacier in the Northern Hemisphere. But according to scientists on board the Greenpeace ship Arctic Sunrise, the glacier is about to lose a 100 square kilometer ice island. This follows last year's loss of a smaller but important area of ice. Now the Arctic Sunrise is at Petermann on Greenland's northwest coast on the first leg of a three month expedition to bear witness to the Arctic meltdown. Using cutting edge technology to reveal the reasons and implications behind the glacier's breakup, the Greenpeace team are working at sea, on ice, and even on the thousand meter cliffs above the glacier. We're setting up several digital cameras that are shooting every 30 seconds and we're putting them all across this glacier on, on both sides. And what we hope to document is the disintegration of this ice shelf behind me that has many cracks and there's a lot of surface melting going on. The scientists have deployed a network of GPS units across the glacier to record how each vast area of ice pushes and pulls upon the ones next to it, creating large cracks. And we're on a pretty massive block. It stretches back 20 kilometers. And what we're doing here is putting some uh, fancy, fairly elaborate GPS systems on this block, monitoring its movement. So we're looking on a minute by minute basis on what it's doing, how it's moving in relation to the rest of the glacier and looking for that critical point where it fractures and breaks off. Dr Hubbard and his colleagues are plumbing the depths of both ocean and ice to get a picture of what's happening to the bottom of the glacier. Using ice penetrating radar and other technologies they're measuring ice thickness, temperature, water salinity and currents. Ocean warming currents are circulating around the fjord here and eroding the underbelly of Peterman Glacier at an incredible rate which is 25 times that of the surface melt. There's been a revelation in the last couple of years in the role that warming oceans play in triggering the enhanced acceleration, breakup and thinning of these outlet glaciers. With Arctic temperatures continuing to rise, large ice islands are breaking off glaciers like Peterman. The effect is like taking a cork from a bottle. With nothing to hold back the ice sheet, more frozen fresh water can pour into the sea and contribute to global sea level rise. Greenland's glaciers are melting faster than scientists are predicting. That's why there's an urgent need for action at the upcoming climate meeting in Copenhagen in December. It's time to stop climate change in its tracks.